Hello everyone, this is Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Part 14, and I exited the National Park through the through the right, through the right exit, and now we are going to continue along to Ecroteague City. And uh, the first trainer we face on this route is a Psychic. He has two Abra and one Kadabra, and the Kadabra is a bit tough, and so I guess you'll see that's why I caught one in the first place. Um, but but the Abra only uses Flash on me, really, and it misses, I think, most of the time. So I just use Bite from Snubble, and it's super effective and knocks it out pretty quickly. Uh, so that's, that's one Abra down, and here's the other one. Uh, both of the Abras are level 13. I believe the Kadabra is a bit higher, though, which uh, it can just ruin your life if you're not prepared. But, it's really not bad. Speaking of Kadabra, um... Well, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna teach my Kadabra all three elemental punches. Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch. When I have the money. You can get them on the fifth floor in Goldenrod City. The guy there sells TMs. Alright, uh, I'll get back to that later. Because, uh, here is Psychic Mark's Kadabra. It's level 15. And I start off with Bite. But the Kadabra is faster than me, and it uses Kinesis, which uh, lowers my accuracy. So really, um, I just don't land a bite here. It just doesn't work out for me. And I end up switching. I switch out to my Growlithe. And uh, this Kadabra has Confusion, and it got a critical hit on me. I only have three hit points left. I got I got pretty unlucky there, but at least I stayed alive. So I go to my bag, and I go to heal up with this super potion. And, uh... The Kadaver continues to use Kinesis on me. But I'm able to get a bite off, and it'll be a two-hit KO. And his confusion is a three-hit KO when it's not a critical hit. Yeah. That's the end of Psychic Mark and his Kadabra. I'll admit that was a tough fight. Alright, we beat him, and we're going to move along now. Now the next trainer on this route... Uh, hold on, I'm switching out to... Uh, Spiro, because I haven't used him in a while. Uh, the next trainer, his name is uh, his name is Schoolboy Allen, and uh, he only has one Pokemon. He has a level 16 Tangela, so he's really easy. But what I do is I ask for his phone number. He's the only trainer in the entire game whose phone number I asked. Um, but that is because he gives you items and. Uh, I know he gives you a Firestone. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, he's gonna call. He's gonna call me up at one random point later in the game, and tell me he has a Firestone, and that's what I'm gonna use on my Growlithe. Um, when Growlithe gets to level 34, it will learn Flame Wheel, and that is when I will give Growlithe the Firestone, and it will level up. I mean, not level up. It will evolve to an Arcanine. So, um, that was a very easy battle. I just used Peck from Spiro. Um, but as you can see here, I asked Schoolboy Allen for his phone number. See, he says that he notices items on the ground, and he will let me know when he finds some. Okay, so we move on here. And there's this lady named Floria. And there's a tree up there, and it won't go away. So what we need is a squirt bottle. You have to have beaten the third gym. You have to have beaten Whitney. And the lady at the flower shop next to the gym will give you a squirt bottle. Okay? Um, so yeah, that tree there, that wiggly tree is a pseudo wudo. It's level 20. Um, I don't end up catching it. I really, I mean, I have my six Pokemon, 
It is pretty high level compared to my other Pokemon, but I don't bother catching it. I decide to, uh, to defeat it for experience. And here I'm biking around and I don't know where I'm going, but I finally get into the house. Um, la 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 la. Have plenty of water, my lovely. Okay. She's kind of crazy. But you talk, you go back to the other girl. Yeah, she says, if, if someone has beaten Whitney, you can get the bottle. So we go up to her. Yes, I am better than Whitney. She cried when I defeated her. You remember that whole shebang. All right, so now we have the squirt bottle. And, oh, oh, wow. I'm getting a phone call from the schoolboy, Alan, that we just fought, and he wants to battle. So why don't, why not, why not we battle him again? Because it's just some XP. Um, but yeah, you can see why I don't otherwise get phone numbers, because they'll call you constantly. Uh, we saw how my mother would keep calling me. In fact, um, I think off screen, after this video, I'm gonna bike all the way back home and just get all the money that my mom has for me and just tell her not to take any more of my money. All right, we're gonna continue back to Schoolboy Allen. We'll fight him and then we'll fight the Pseudo Wudo. I'm gonna stick with, uh, I'm not sure, do I stick with Spiro? Uh. No, I, uh, yeah, I, I stay with Spiro, because it's uh, almost level 18. Okay. He has a Tangela. Um, and yeah, my Spiro is almost at level 18, so I use that. Um, there's a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Krukenaw in the fight against Sudowoodo, because it should have no problem knocking Sudowoodo out. Sudowoodo is Rock-type. Um, but this reminds me of a really funny joke. Well, uh, I found it pretty funny. There's a, there's a video on YouTube, and uh, it has James from Team Rocket in the anime, and he's uh, ranting on about controversies in Pokemon, like, like uh, why does Chansey throw it throw its eggs at other Pokemon or something. It, it just asks random questions about Pokemon. And one of the things he says is, uh, if there are no other animals in the Pokemon world, uh, are are your hamburgers made of Tauros meat? And is your house made of Pseudowoodo? And just the, vo the voice that he uses is pretty funny. So in the description, I'm going to leave the link to that hilarious video, and I suggest you watch it. It's uh, really worth your time. Okay. So now we're coming across the Pseudo Wudo, and it's level 20 female. But like I said, I'm not gonna bother catching it. I'm just gonna get the XP and use my Krukenaw. And I get, I'm faster than the Pseudo Wudo. I use Water Gun, and unfortunately, it's not gonna be a one, uh, one or two hit KO. It's gonna have to be three. Um, and the Pseudo Wudo has Mimic, so for this battle, it learned Water Gun, but that's not gonna hurt me at all. And now with that water gun, I take it down to the very low red, and because it has low HP, Flail does a decent amount of damage on me. It took me below half, but that's okay. I use Bite, and I finish the enemy Pseudo Wudo. And I only get 385 XP, it's really not a lot, but um, that's okay. We're going to move on. There's two battles in this route, and then we're going to go to Ecritique City. And who am I going to use? I'm going to use Snubble again. Okay, so here you fight two twins, Anne and Anne. One has an E and one doesn't. But, uh, I mean, what kind of mother would name their two kid, name her two kids the same name? I don't know, whatever. Um, the first Pokemon is a Jigglybuff, Jigglypuff, excuse me, and you really have to watch out because it knows Sing, which will put your Pokemon to sleep. But luckily, I get a one hit KO on the headbutt. But her second Pokemon, their second Pokemon, is a Clefairy. And I use Headbutt on it. This time I didn't get a one-hit KO, but I got it to flinch. That's just as good because I knock it out in two hits. 
That's the end of the enemy Clefairy over there. Now we're going to move on. Get very little money. But we're moving on here. And we're going to fight this guy. He says, Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. That is very true. This, uh, this trainer over here, uh, his name is Psychic Greg, and he has a Drowsy. Drowsy is level 17. That's, that's fairly high. So I use my Snubble and I use Bite. And even though it's super effective, it does actually not a lot of damage at all. That's because Snubble has a low, low special attack, but a high attack. Um, and unfortunately here, the Drowsy uses Hypnosis and I fall asleep. And I look at my bag, and I don't have any Awakenings, so I end up switching out. Or, or do I? Oh, I think I wait to wake up. Oh yeah, I wait to see if I can wake up soon, but I find out this Drowsy has Dream Eater, which does a lot of damage, and regains its own health. So, um, I, I was going to say before though, Snubble will soon learn, will soon learn, excuse me, uh, will soon learn Lick. And I think I'm going to delete Bite for Lick. Lick has a bit less power, but it's a physical attack, and it's Ghost type, which is basically the same as Dark in almost all respects. So I think I'll do that. Um, so yeah, my Snubble's at very low HP, so I switch out to my Spinarak. And the Hypnosis missed from the enemy, or the Dream Eater missed, or whatever. And I use Nightshade. And luckily for me, the Disable failed, and I can still use Nightshade. And lucky me again, the Hypnosis missed. So, I finish it off with another Nightshade. Alright, I defeated Psychic Greg. Uh, he was pretty annoying. Watch out for that guy. And we're going to move on. And we are finally in Ecritique City. I'm just going to ride around here. There's the gym. Um, the house up there is where you can fight the Eevee girls. You will see them later. And then up here is the Burn Tower. So we'll pick up there next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.